What's going on guys, this is Burrs. Just took apart my uh, AK to give it a cleaning uh, after use. I noticed this while I was at the range, but uh, whatever. I uh, had my uh, red dot on there, my one red dot, and uh, no problems, okay? Didn't come off, anything like that. Uh, had the Ultimac, you know, mounted on there. Didn't come loose whatsoever. But I have this Haley Strategic flashlight mount, and everything's tight in the same way. You hear that? Look at this. Wobbling all around. Now, um, not really sure what to make of that. Like I said, everything's everything is uh, tightened to the same torque specifications. You know, is that you know what kind of you know, threading they use? Not sure. But uh, going forward, um, definitely going to be using Loctite. Um, I had everything mounted temporarily where I wanted it, and I was going to fit it and such, you know, as to where I wanted it, and then Loctite it down, but, you know, made in the USA, and loose. Now I'm going to send a, uh email over to them and ask them about this, um, as to uh, what's going on with that, because I found the threads and everything to be kind of uh, interesting to uh, put in there. So I'm going to email them, ask them about that. In regards to, uh, you know, the, are, they, are these normal for it to come loose like that? Are you specified you must use Loctite? Because things like the Ultimax say, uh, don't use Loctite. Um, if memory serves me right. It says, do not use Loctite. Oh, no, that was on the EOTech. Uh, Ultimax says, you know, everything we make has been um, uh, put together without Loctite. But, you know, EOTech specifically says, do not use Loctite. But this... Definitely have to use Loctite going forward, unless this is something that was like a product recall that I missed. But, I'm going to contact them and I'll let you guys know. Just something interesting I found uh, recently while uh, taking this apart. So if you got any questions, let me know. And uh, if you have a uh, Haley Strategic Light Mount, go ahead and put down there in the comments uh, your experience. And uh, until next time, later.